In this video, we will focus on the analysis and identification of two force members. First, let's look at the theory of two force members, definition of two force members, and the consequence of uh, two force members on overall equilibrium of a structure. So click on the lecture button and uh, in the statics power software for Actus Potentia and that should take us to a PowerPoint presentation and we go to page 39 and uh, where we discuss the equilibrium of two force members. A two force member shown here at the in the diagrams at the at the bottom look at the diagram at the extreme left. A two force member is a member which has only two forces acting on it. This is you have to be very precise and specific about this. Only two forces acting on it. If you have a couple acting on that body in addition to the two forces, it is not a two force member. It is a two force and a couple member. If you want to include the weight of the body, then weight becomes the third force in addition to F1 and F2 and so the body is not a two force member. So you have to be very specific about that. Only two forces. Now let's see what happens to the equilibrium. In step one we say force F1 and F2 are acting at points A and B respectively. If you balance the moment at B then the moment due to F2 is 0 because F2 passes through B and so F1 has to pass through B and it must be aligned with the line AB and similarly if you balance the moment at point A you determine that the force F2 must be aligned with the line AB and now from force equilibrium, we can find that F1 must be equal to F2. So what is the uh, ultimate conclusion? When two forces act on a body in equilibrium, those two forces must have the same line of action, same magnitude and opposite sense. So what is the line of action? The line of action is the line that you get by joining the two points A and B where the two forces are acting. So you have two forces acting on a body at point A and point B. Point A and point B are the points of application of the two forces. Get a line joining points A and B and the two forces are equal and opposite and acting along the line AB. Now let's get to the free body diagram application in statics power software from Actus Potentia and uh, build some structures with two force members and examine what happens. So let's start with our familiar A-frame which is which has three members let's uh, join them with the uh, pins join here join here and join here and support it with a pin support here and a roller support here. Apply some loads. On this we apply a point force at a distance of 5 
from point B and a magnitude of 1000 and then apply a couple on this at a distance of 5 from point B and magnitude of 2000 units uh, remember that these numbers 5 2000 and so on and so forth these are totally arbitrary because at this stage we are not really interested in the numbers but on the basic principle so in this structure ed is a two force member it's joined at pin e so at pin e we have a force it is joined at pin d so at pin d it has a force and compared to the magnitude of this force, the applied forces, which applied forces and couples, which are shown in green, compared to those magnitudes, the weight of member ED is small. Hence, the weight of member ED is ignored. Remember, if I include the weight of member ED, then in addition to a force at E and a force at D, we will have the weight force and it will not be a two force member. It will be a two force member only if you ignore the weight of that member. So right now, ED is a two force member. And let's draw the uh, free body diagram. This is the free body diagram for the whole structure. Two forces coming from the pin support, one force coming from the roller support. Let's look at the free body diagram for member AEB. Two forces coming from the pin support, two forces coming from the pin joint, and this is the force coming from the two force member. For this member, this is a force coming from the roller support. These two are forces coming from the pin joint where the other inclined member is connected. And this is a force coming from the two force member. If you look at the free body diagram of the two force member, we see the theory that we developed all the way at the beginning that when two forces act on a body and only two forces act on a body, those two forces are aligned with the line joining the points of application of two forces which are node D and node E. So you draw a line joining node E and node D and the forces are aligned with that line and so what did we achieve by identifying this two force member if we had not identified this as a two force member then at this pin joint we will get two forces at this pin joint, we will get two forces, so altogether four forces. But just because this is a two force member, we do not have four forces. We have only two forces. Not only that, these two forces are equal and opposite. We do not know how much this force is or that force is, but they are equal and opposite. So if this is 545, this is also 545 going left and going right. Now, let's go a little farther and start a new structure. Now we are going to build another A-frame. For A-frame, remember in the previous structure we had a straight member here but now what we are going to do is 
instead of a straight member we will take two straight members and instead of a pin here we are going to weld these two members together we call a welding or a welded two welded members as a fixed joint so you take this fixed joint button click it here so now it's a v-shaped member a single member which is v-shaped then bring this member over here and join it with the two existing members put a pin support here and put a roller support here remember this is a still an A-frame however instead of a straight member between E and F we have a V-shaped member between E and F let's apply some loading on this one point force at a distance of 5 a couple at a distance of 5 this is our structure this is the loading what about this member EDF it's still a two force member one force acting at E one force acting at F it's not a straight member it's a v-shaped member but still it is a two force member so let's look at the free body diagram for this just as before two forces from the pin support one force from the roller support if you look at member ABE two forces from the pin support two forces from the pin joint and one force from the two force member if you look at member CBF one force from the roller support two forces from the pin joint at B but remember these two forces and these two forces are equal and opposite from Newton's third law now let's look at member DEF which is a two force member so what is the takeaway from this entire discussion the entire discussion is when you have a body with two forces acting on it those two forces must be aligned with the line joining the points of application of those two forces in this case that is node E and node F those two forces are equal and opposite and all that is true even when member is not straight even if I had taken a zigzag member here the theory of two force member will still be applicable that those two forces are equal and opposite and along the line joining the points of application of two forces so the theory of two force member is independent of the shape of the member no matter what the shape is it could be zigzag it could be V it could be a W as long as it is a two force member those two forces will be equal and opposite and along the line joining the two points of applications of those two forces.